It's been happening as long as young people have been going to school. It's the coming of age. It's about being a student, being proud, and showing it. And for the last 60 years, there's one way that young people around the world have shown that moment of pride. The ISIC card. And it all began when Europe was rebuilding bridges following the Second World War. Student organizations were formed to activate the peace-building potential of a traveling younger generation, promoting intercultural understanding. And it was at the International Student Conference of 1953, attended by 51 student organizations, that the Norwegian and Dutch delegations took the step towards an idea that was as simple as it was profound student identity document allowing access to international student services. A simple beginning with high ideals created by and for students. The first actual ISIC cards were produced and distributed in 1955 and the early years showed the vitality of a powerful idea. As travel was found to open students' minds, help understand other cultures, and gain practical knowledge, the travel function of the card was soon recognized as central. And soon, major airlines signed up to provide exclusive student discounts for ISIC cardholders. Early results demonstrated the satisfaction of students, schools, and sponsoring organizations alike. By the mid-1960s, over 2 million cards had been issued within 33 different countries. With the ISIC card, bridges were indeed being built. The majority of issued cards were in European countries, but that would soon change. As the world was taking early economic steps toward globalization, the ISIC card was poised to take a quantum leap, to truly go global. All that was needed was a catalyst. Hi, I'm Dirina. I'm Caio. I'm Marcelo. I'm Daniel. I'm Mariana. I'm Juan. I'm Nanette, and I am Steve.